Hey everyone, it's Wiki Bunnies. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's that time of the month again, so it is time for me to show you all of my May favorites. But this month has literally gone by so incredibly fast. I'm just like, what? We're in June already? Huh? Like, how is this possible? So I have acquired a lot of things that I really, really like this month that I can't wait to show you guys. It ranges from plushies and toys, fashion, beauty, stuff I've been watching, music, you know the drill. Also think this is my first time on my channel dressing in Gyaru, so... Hi there! <laughs> I honestly feel like I haven't done anything related to Gyaru on my channel, so... If you would like to see more of this sort of type of stuff, like just makeup, beauty, etc, etc, comment down below and I will look into your requests. But enough of my rambling, let's get into my favorites. So starting off first, we're gonna go into my toys and plushy faves of the month. And so I have this super cute, my Melody Pinky Street figurine right here. And I honestly got her for a pretty decent price on Depop. She was about like 50 bucks after shipping and taxes. So I don't think it's that bad. And she's so freaking cute. Like, oh my God, this is literally, I'm sorry, this is me. But I've been getting really into collecting anime figures the past few months and I think she's such an adorable figure to put in my collection. She's just, she's Sanrio, she's pink, I mean, she's everything I love so I'm really glad that I got her. Next toy I have to show you is this super freaking cute My Melody Strawberry Plush that I got from a Depop trade and oh my god, is she not the cutest thing ever? I'm so happy I got her, honestly. <laughs> if you guys have watched my February favorites video, then you probably remember this guy right here. And if you don't know, I'm quite obsessed with strawberries. I love eating strawberries. I think they're adorable. So now I have two strawberry my melodies on my bed at all times. And they're just my best friends. They're pink strawberry girls and I love them. Next plushie I have is also another Depop trade. And it's this super cute, Halloween Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear. So I've been really wanting a Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear for a while and they're kind of expensive. Like if you're into like Build-A-Bears, you're gonna know like what I'm talking about with price range, but I'll just put like a sort of price range right here just so you can see how ridiculously crazy expensive they usually are. Um, but so I was able to trade this beautiful girl and I'm so happy because I've always wanted this, but I'm like, I'm not gonna spend a hundred freaking dollars on one plushie. Um, that's insane. So yeah, I'm really happy I got her. She's super cute and I'm a very big Halloween lover as you can tell. Well, actually, I don't know if you can tell that, but I also have this little Halloween plushie right here that you would have seen if you watched my Japanese plushies haul. I'll link it in the description if you want to see it, but yeah. So we have another Halloween plushie to have in my collection. And the last little plushie I have to show you guys is this super cute strawberry little angel Hello Kitty. This is the sweetest, cutest, fluffiest little plush ever. Like the fur, I really love the fur. I'm not sure like what this is made of compared to like the other stuffed animals I have, but it's just really, really nice and just soft and plush looking. And this is also like a vintage Hello Kitty. It's like from 2009, it says it on the little tag right here. And I honestly got her for a decent price. I got her for about, it's about 45 after shipping and taxes on Depop, but I mean, I think it's really cute and I haven't really seen this one out there. So I think it's kind of rare, so. I think I got a good deal and I really like her. I just, she's so sweet and cute. I love her. I'm really happy that I got this. Now moving on to one of my favorite sections and that is beauty. And so the first thing that I want to show you guys is actually for nail health and to keep them strong and everything. And so it's these two products right here. I'll talk about this guy right here first. It is Nail Aid Keratin 3 Day Growth. And so basically what you do with this is you paint it on your nail and it just kind of goes on like a clear polish. I actually have it on my nails right now if you want to see. 
and it just helps like just strengthen grow and all that with your nails and me and my mom have actually been loving this stuff so so i think this will kind of be like a forever beauty product that me and my mom will really really like because i've noticed that my nails are just a lot nicer now after using this and then we also we've been using this one this cream right here it's called hard as hoof which I kind of like the name. It's like a little strange, you know, definitely sticks out and it's a nail strengthening cream. And oh my God, the smell is really nice. It's really refreshing, but like the cream itself, it's so moisturizing. You don't even really need to swipe that much on your nail, but basically you just go dip your thingy in and then you just kind of like rub it on your nail and then it just helps with protecting and hardening them and this stuff works really well i highly recommend you use those two together because my nails have just been looking like a lot healthier lately and i'm really glad that they are so next product that i've been love love loving in the month of may has been this l'oreal true max foundation and the color is in c2 i'm wearing it right now actually so yeah um actually i've never really used foundation before so this is kind of like a first time for me and honestly i feel like i was kind of missing out like it really makes my skin just look amazing kind of like a movie star i don't know i just feel like i've been missing out on actually using a foundation and i was kind of just searching around on the internet like what type of foundation i should use from what brand and i saw that this had some pretty good reviews so i went and got me one of these and i really like it it matches into my skin well and it's a pretty light formula so it doesn't feel really heavy which i hate heavy makeup personally i just i i don't think i could stand like a really heavy foundation so this is good if you want something that is more like a lighter coverage but you're still covered just a little bit you know just a little bit but yeah i've been loving this and my final beauty favorite of the month which i highly 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 recommend and it's literally not even even that expensive is this skin food cream by the brand Waleda. Waleda, I guess. I have no idea how you say their brand, but oh my god. So they make a body butter and also a face cream. What I'm holding right now is a face cream, and it's so nice. Like, let me just show you what the cream looks like first, Juan. The smell, I have no idea what it smells like, but it smells like aloe. Is that how you say that, aloe? It smells like, like a fresh plant in a way, but it's like sweet, you know? And this is what the cream looks like. Let me just put a little bit in my hand. It's so thick, like it's really, really nice. It's so thick and creamy and it's just, it moisturizes my skin so nicely and me and my mom have just been like <laughs> using the hell out of this because you can see how thin this is but it really works nicely and it's pretty affordable to be honest i think it was like seven or eight dollars for the face cream and like maybe 15 for the actual body lotion but i highly recommend this stuff it's really really nice it's just super moisturizing and the price is really good so yeah, I definitely highly recommend you guys check this out if you haven't already. Now moving on to what I've been watching this month, and it's pretty much been all YouTubers. So yeah, let me tell you who I've been watching. So we have YouTube on our TV in our house, and my mom basically opened the app and we got into it. And on the first page, there was this video talking about is life in the US or in Europe better? And so me and my mom were like, oh. Well, that's interesting because we've been kind of thinking about that recently so we clicked it watched the entire thing and we were like wow this is really put together like greatly like the way he films and tells his stories are just so captivating and he is just truly an artist on youtube like you guys really need to check him out if you're just into sort of like vlogging but also language but also just personal experiences and traveling if you're into that type of stuff i highly recommend him because his channel is just so good and my family has just kind of been obsessed with watching his videos recently okay so we have another youtuber that i've kind of been obsessing over this month and that is matt pat 
and just game theory, film theory, food theory, style theory, literally all of his channels I've just been really into recently. I don't know why I kind of just did a huge deep dive into all those channels. Like I was a casual fan of like MatPat videos, but like now I'm like really into his content and everything. And I've just been watching every single video he puts out on his different channels. It's just like, he has a really nice personality and like his wife and um, the other people on his team are just super awesome. So I've been really liking their stuff and he just always makes like interesting things, you know, something that makes you go like, huh. I haven't thought about that, but I wanna, I wanna know why it's like that. So yeah, um, if you haven't for some reason watched any of MatPat's videos on his various amounts of channels, then I suggest you do because he has some really interesting content. So this technically doesn't count as a YouTuber, it's more just like YouTube as a whole, but I've been obsessed this month with this game called Amanda the Adventurer. I've just loved seeing other people play this game, whether it was MatPat, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, Oh my god, it is filled with lore! It's so good! I haven't found like a video game that I've been this passionate about like for months, honestly. I can't even remember. Oh, Resident Evil. That was like the last game because I mean, my bae Leon was in it, so of course I had to be obsessed with it. But Amanda the Adventurer, oh my god, it's like sort of like a Poppy Playtime, Five Nights at Freddy's, like it's kind of like a kids spooky creepy type of story where it's like uh oh electronic go bad uh oh it's for kids but now it wants to mur murder people that type of thing you know but it's honestly just so good the story you just you need to get invested in it it's just insanely good like it's just they have so many hidden details in the game and it's just i've just been obsessed with watching people like watching people play let's plays basically of that game because it's just, it's incredible. And I highly recommend you check out other people playing it or you play it yourself, whichever, it's really, really good. Now on to my favorite books. So there's this one manga series that I read this month and I honestly really, really liked it. I'm not sure how popular it is, but this is the title. It's called Tokyo Boys and Girls. And I'm not sure if this is like a popular series or not, or if it's more underground, I guess. But I really, really enjoyed reading this. And it's very like shoujo beat type of stuff. So very like lovey high school type of things. But it's also like a bit different. It's not like super lovey in a way. Like there's actually an interesting story behind it. And basically one of the main character's crushes he has like this whole thing like a grudge with her and it's just interesting how this plays out i just really like this book a lot i thought the characters were pretty cool and i liked the majority of them so i recommend it if you want to read something that is on the lighter side and if you would like to read something that is like a cute teenage romance type of thing now moving on to my may fashion favorites and so the first thing I want to talk about is actually gold jewelry. So I've always been more of a silver type of girl when it comes to picking out jewelry, but recently I've honestly been loving gold, like gold jewelry, just everything gold. I've just been kind of like, huh, that's beautiful. I need it and I want it. So <laughs> I have gold jewelry on today. As you can see, my necklaces are gold and I even have some gold rings on and even this little star right here on my shirt is gold as well so yeah i've just been into gold jewelry for whatever reason lately maybe just because of summertime i'm not sure it's just it's finally come to me that gold is a cool color that also looks good on me still like i didn't know if gold kind of like washed me out or anything but i think it looks fine on me to be honest i think it looks cute so gold my new bestie i love you this month i feel like i've just been incredibly busy so i haven't really been able to dress up like this for a bit so i was kind of like well i need to still look cute if i'm busy running around places you know and so i have found a new thing that i love and i'm obsessed with floral dresses just like any type of floral sundress this one i got from walmart in particular and i just think it's so so cute and so flattering and it's just so comfortable the material is like 
very comfy so i just throw this on and literally go out with my day and i still look cute while doing that so this has just been something i've been loving like if you're a busy bitch then buy these these are cute if you wanna if you're kind of lazy and you just want to look good get these because floral sundresses you can never go wrong and so my next fashion fave of may has been this super cute hoodie top that i got from a depop trade and it's basically this little pink ruffly top that has the little sugar bunnies in the corner here and then it has a little shiro usa hood right here it's kind of hard to see the full glory of it but it has little ears little bunny ears and i think it's so cute and i got this pretty much for free because this was a trade and i just think it's so 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 cute and i'm really happy to add this to my little clothing collection my little hawaii clothing collection because it's very cute and it's also just kind of hard to find clothing pieces for sugar bunnies sometimes so yeah, I'm very happy that I got this. And so my last fashion favorite for May has to be these super cute pink Hello Kitty sandal platforms that I got off AliExpress. And oh my gosh, they're so freaking cute. Like they have these cute little flowers on them and then the Hello Kitty charm. And these are honestly pretty comfortable to walk in and they were pretty cheaply priced. I believe they were between like 14 and 18 dollars and i feel like i got my money's worth because i've been wearing these a lot recently and they're just super cute they match with a lot of different outfits because they're pink and they have of course miss kitty on them so yeah i've just been really loving these these are perfect for the warming weather now moving on to my music favorites of May. And so the first album that I want to talk about is actually Melanie Martinez's Portals. And I've been really, really enjoying that album. I finally got a chance to listen to it fully this month. And I'm glad I did because it's different, obviously, compared to her previous albums. But I actually kind of like the change. Like I know Crybabies as a whole were kind of like divided on the whole new concept and everything. I personally thought it was really cool. But some people were kind of like, yo, what is she doing now? like what's going on but i love the whole like whimsical fairy type of sound of this album i just think it's really cool and obviously the whole new look of crybaby is beautiful delicious i love it so much i would have to say my top two favorite songs off the album have to be womb and nymphology i don't know something about those songs they really just scratch my brain in a delicious way they're just very good and i really enjoyed her new album so yeah and my last music favorite of the month has to just be ariana grande's music as a whole i don't know why i just kind of got into it again i mean i've always really liked ariana's music but for some reason just now in may i feel like i've listened to more of her music than ever so it's been interesting <laughs> it's been giving me a lot of like 2014 2016 flashbacks because i mean honestly i think after 2018 was like really the last time i was like a full-on like airy stan and everything like in this month i finally have listened to the full positions album which i've never listened to until this year which i know i'm kind of late to the party but i really really like that album i think it might be one of my favorites by her dangerous woman is probably one of my favorites but i don't know they're kind of like tied now they're both really good albums and i've just been enjoying like all the songs off of that album in particular i think my favorites have to be like shut up and then just like magic just like magic i attract it middle finger to my thumb and then i snap it like oh, it's so good it's making my manifestation game even bigger and more positive like yes Ari, give me all that energy yes but yeah i'm so glad that i finally listened to it because wow i was missing out i really really like the positions album so good but yeah that is all of my may favorites let me know in the comments below how your may has been and what was your favorite thing that i showed in this video i hope you guys have had a wonderful may so far and i'm hoping that june is also great for you guys as well thank you all so so much for watching i truly appreciate it so now it's time for me to give you a heart, heart, and heart to you. And I'll see you in my next video. Ta-ta.